Geode tutorial. This tutorial is aimed at first time users of the geode using SGOS or MGOS software. And what we aim to do is show you how to set up the geode to record a simple refraction shot using a set of default parameters. We start the demo at the point where the system has booted up the software and we come here to the shot window. The first thing I would like to do is just check the file structure and here we have the storage parameters and we'll just make sure that we have a set of adequate storage parameters here to retrieve our data at a later stage. First of all make sure that you're storing data in SEG2. Note in SGOS you will not see the SEGD and SEGY options here. Make sure that the default directory is something that you're happy with. If you're not you can change it at this point. Make sure autosave is unchecked at this stage and give it a file number which can be any number you want. In this case we'll make it 10. Click on OK. Next we come to the acquisition parameters and we will set the sample interval and record length. Here I'll choose a record length of quarter of one second and a sample interval of 0.125 milliseconds. Please note that the sample interval here is shown in either microseconds or milliseconds whereas the recording length is shown here in seconds. At the moment leave the delay at zero seconds. Next we come to acquisition filters and check at this stage that they are both out. You see we have two filters available to us and at the outset we'll record with the instrument totally open so no filters. The next thing if you're using MGOS make sure the correlation is selected to be off. If you're using SGOS then correlation is not shown as an option. In stack options check auto stack, make sure that stack polarity positive is checked and also initially at least we will have the unstack delay at zero seconds. Finally in the acquisition we will go and look at the specify channels and make sure all of the use line is selected to be data. If it's not, down here it will give you the number to press underneath the relevant channel number to either select it to be data, auxiliary or inactive in this case. Also make sure that none of the channels are frozen. The default when the system boots up is that all of the channels will be data and none of the channels will be frozen. You're now ready to acquire a shot. Now we don't have a geode attached at the moment so all I'm going to do is read a file back from disk and this is a typical file using a sledgehammer. Here we can see our shot record on the screen at the moment we've got 24 channels and these are our first arrivals being displayed in here. If I wish to change this I can come here to display and shot parameters, display boundary will allow me to change the number of channels. In this fact, in this case, the actual number of channels is 48. And if I wish to show a longer recording length, for example, quarter second, click on OK. If I wish to change the display mode, I can go through here. In refraction it is important that you use fixed gain as the display mode. Trace style can be any one of three options. If I choose variable area I can do so and so on. But at least here you've got your first refraction record. 